Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Destination Unknown Beer Company. These guys are out of Bay Shore, New York. This is their Mosaic Mood. And it is an American Pale Ale. And according to the can, it says uh, Double Dry Hopped APA. 5.2% alcohol by volume. Plain Jane Silver Can, 16 ouncer. Uh, it has 3817 on the bottom of it. So, and today is the 9th of May. So it's right at a month old. So it still should be very tasty. This was sent to me by my brother Rico. Uh, and he writes on this particular beer. Um, says, uh, juicy, all mosaic hop, tropical pale ale with pineapple and citrus notes. Purchase a four pack for $14 at Gun Hill Brewing during their BA Void of Light Bottle Release event. So, uh, evidently they had several other breweries there when they did that because he has sent me several different ones from different breweries that came from that event that he attended. So, uh, very nice. I appreciate it, Rico. Thank you, my brother. Uh, this should be a very hoppy pale ale, very hop forward pale ale. And, uh, the commercial description is exactly what I read off Rico's letter there. So, uh, as far as IBUs, it's probably not going to be listed. Nope, I don't have it on any of the sites here, so we do not know. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So, let's get this thing, let's pop the top and get it into the glass. And I will tell you guys what I'm pointing this cuisine is Pan Asian, Earthy Cheeses, Camembert Montina, Nutty Cheeses, Asiago Colby Parmesan, Tangy Cheeses, Brick Adam Feta, Meat is Poultry for this, uh, Glass Water Pine Becker, Becker Nonic Tumbler Mug, uh, Stein Seidel. I'm using my favorite tulip glass, the Solid Beer Glass, and not recommended for extended cellarings. So, drink them fresh, guys. Uh, Right at a finger of head on that pour. It is very clear. It looks like a filtered beer to me. A very nice amber color. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Reinforcing that head. Uh, very creamy white head on the top. Looks very good. Nice looking beer. Let's get it to the nose. Very citrusy. Hints of grapefruit and pineapple. Wonderful aroma. Very, very pleasant run. A very hot forward pale ale. Double dry hop. They throw some hops to this. Smells wonderful. And I'm thirsty. First beer of the day. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Excellent. Outstanding aroma and flavor on this beer. I don't think I've had anything from these guys before, Destination Unknown Beer Company. And they got it abbreviated on the can, Dubco. Destina Destination Unknown Beer Company, Dubco. Wonderful aroma, very pleasant. A very tasty pale ale. It doesn't have a super huge bitterness on the back end of it. A great one if you want to get into a hoppy beer, but don't like the bitterness of an IPA or a double IPA. 
this would be a great one to warm up those taste buds to a very citrusy, hoppy beer without getting all the bitterness that goes along with the IPAs and doubles. Very pleasant. Right out of the fridge, guys. Let me take it back in. Now, before we go away, look it off camera. Let me pour the rest of this in there see if it clouds it up any. Sometimes it does. It looks a little cloudier coming out of the bottom here, guys. Like some of it has settled into the bottom. And as you can see, it has clouded it up. So we had a little bit of settling going on on this beer. It is very cloudy now. So you can't always go by the initial pour if you don't get it all into the glass. Especially on these 16 ounces and uh, uh, 22 ounce bombers and even 500 milliliters. Something with the bigger size that typically doesn't fit into a 12 ounce glass. That back end, that last little bit will change the, 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 uh, the appearance of it a lot of times dramatically. So not perfectly clear now, a lot of stuff coming out of the bottom of that can. I'm getting a little bit of peaches now. Very, very tasty. All right, let's take it back and let her sip on it just a little bit. And then let me sip on it for a little bit. And we'll come back and do the final grade. Very impressive right now. A very, very tasty uh, pale ale. Double dry hopped. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Nice slicing is left on the glass. A very tasty pale ale. Uh, a lot of grapefruit, citrusy, pineapple. Uh, very tasty. I enjoyed this. Uh, to me, guys, uh, this would be a great one to try to get into something a little more hoppy without all the bitterness, like I said earlier. So, uh, very well done. Uh, and evidently, they've done this beer before because this can says 5.2% and Untapped has it at 6.6%. .6%, so, not quite that big. So, uh, very nice. And like I said, it clouded up considerably when I poured the bottom end of that can in there. So, very cloudy now. Final chug. Uh, a very tasty pale ale. Especially if you're into the hoppier stuff like I am. Really tasty. Uh, to me, guys... I think it's a really tasty beer. Uh, I don't think it's outstanding or world class, but they do have the date on the bottom of the can, and it does have the ABV on there, even though it doesn't have the IBUs. I like to see that, especially on a pale ale or an IPA, to let us know, you know, what the bitterness units are and how bitter it's going to be. A lot of people say that's not critical. It's just me. I'd like to know that information, guys. Is it a 40? Is it a 50? Is it a 60 IBU? Uh, that lets you know, you know, what to expect, uh, how bitter the beer is going to be on the back end. So, with that being said, guys, uh, I think it's very tasty. Uh, I'm going to give this an A-. minus. Uh, numeric grade on this would be a 90. And Beer Advocate and Rate Beer both doesn't have any scores on this beer. Even though uh, Beer Advocate and Rate Beer both have it at 5.2%, which is what the cans got on it. Uh, they don't have uh, enough people to comment on it for them to produce a rating. We do have a rating from Untapped, but they've got it listed at 6.6%, which is incorrect. So I don't know if we can go by these numbers. They have it at 3.87, uh, which is their B-plus number. So I think it's a little bit better than that, having the date on the bottom of the can and more than likely being a fairly small brewery on top of that. So they know how important that is, and they are dating their stuff. That's why I went ahead and gave it to A. Uh, so I think it, it is a worthy of the grade A, uh, A minus anyway, uh, on this beer. Very tasty. I enjoyed it, Rico. Thanks so much, my brother. I do appreciate it. Uh, so uh, if you've had this one from Destination Unknown Beer Company, their Mosaic Mood, the 5.2%, not the 66 uh, that they've got here, probably last year's edition, I would think, to have that number. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing there, guys, because I haven't had anything from these... Uh, uh, these guys at Destination Unknown before, as far as I can recall. So, if you've had this edition, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge.